I think the internet just cut out. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we moved the leg to a place where it belongs. So, the next two should be the same, basically. So, let's copy that onto you. V. And... The reason why I don't copy all of them is because they would overlap then and that would give us problems. So I have to do this like V. But if we remove the minus, we should end up here, right? So C from U and V from U. And there we are. And then all that needs is actually a rotation on the Z, I think. And that should work as it is. No. Do you need a minus rotation on this as well? Yes. Maybe no minus here. Ah. As you can tell, I have a bit of an issue with uh, spatial recognition and stuff, so don't mind me actually sometimes struggle with which axis to use. It is helpful to see them here, but yeah, it is what it is. So actually, I'm pretty proud of me, to be honest, that I did like this because I kind of did not pay any attention to positioning stuff so now you're there and I need to move you on the X axis so you get a little minus perfect and then you need to rotate Rotate on the y-axis, I think, to be completely wrong. Is it on the z-axis? To be completely right. Ooh, we did it. This is the table I wanted to make. This is exactly how I imagined it. Almost exactly, but like, you know, in my imagination, it's also colored and stuff, so... There's that. So, this is cool. I... I actually like this. This was... very fun. And we did it. In under an hour! I think that wasn't quick, but, like... Huh? We did a table that we can use for multiple houses. I'm gonna do a few more tables later, sure, to have some variety, so not every house should have the same table all over the place. This is a dinner table. But like, cool, right? This is pretty cool. So, let's go back into the tutorial to see, like, of course, there needs to be a texture for this as well, but this is mainly about 3D modeling. We might get into texturing later, but like, I'm not quite sure, do I render it now or shouldn't I render it and just leave it at that to texture it later? Let's see. I hope the tutorial goes into that. The finishing touch before. To make our table look better, we could add a small bevel to the edges. You can do this in edit mode. And the bevel tool is located here. Don't use the bevel tool up the whole table. We will produce lots of unnecessary edges by that. Just to show you, select everything and do a bevel here. And as you can see, all of the edges are doubled. This is not what we want. Don't tell me he's actually doing the thing I did as well, but I did it differently. Let's undo this. 
What we want to do is to select just the edges that we need to have a bevel on. This is for example the feet here or the outer ring of the table plate. First let's deselect everything. Switch to edge mode. Select the first and there is a feature when you hold down the Alt key and click at an edge then it selects the whole edge loop. That so is nice. Shift was to add, Alt key and now this loop is selected. This loop and this loop. The same. That is cool. But the downside. Shift and Alt also and at the edges. Now if I want to use the bevel, I should the use the plate. other, okay. Let's do it. A small amount, let's say. Ah, no, no, it's not what I wanted to do. This one. Okay, Make okay. Table as a bevel at the plate. Still nice, yes, but not what and I for aim the for, feet, so. There is a more elegant way with box select. Let's go to one of the orthographic views. Let's deselect everything by clicking in the off and switch to box select and go to the face mode. And now let's select the faces here. As you can see, it has just selected the front faces. Yeah, obviously. We need to activate toggle X-ray. Oh, that way we can see through and select through. So oh, orthographic view, box select, and now we have. That is good. Up. Wait, it's this one. Okay, it's right there. Perfect. Unfortunately, we have also the edges selected where the feet goes into the table plate. Yes, that's not, not good. What we want. We want don't want to have a bevel at these edges. First switch to edge select and then let's have a look here at the modes for the uh, box select tool. There is one for subtract. This is what we need. Ah, so let's that it doesn't select something that's... Side view yeah. And box select these edges here. And now we have just selected the part of the feed that should be beveled. Let's do it. I'm not quite sure what look he's aiming for. Again, a small amount. And we have beveled our table. I don't know, the feet look weird like Leaning this. Up the mesh. Let's but have a closer look good at skill what to we have produced so far. Let's yes. have a look at the so-called topology. All right, cleaning up the mesh. That's one thing we need to do, because those are a lot of faces, vertices and stuff, but I know there is a way to fuse that together to make this one model without me going for every vertice and doing that myself, so I guess he's doing that. There are a few things to avoid, but first let's adjust some settings so that we can go on. The first thing is to turn off toggle x-ray so that we can see our geometry better. Then we are currently in bevel mode. The tool system is made in a way that a tool stays active until you choose another tool. So let's do this. Let's. What else would it do if not stay active? On okay. Activate tweak. This is why this tool has a hotkey assigned. You will use it quite often to escape another active tool with this hotkey D. Again, bevel, hotkey D to escape. Let's select this face here. First activate face select mode, click at the face and then we zoom in by hotkey numpad zero this is the few selected tool. And now let's have a look at this face. 
what we have created here with the Bevel tool is a so-called Angon. A Angon is a face with more than four edges. One, two, three, four, five. This one is what? even worse. It has six. That is possible? I thought it was only with three or four. Okay. Angons I mean, why not? Bad behaviors. Some tools, like edge loop tools, relies at a quad topology to work proper. Angons is no stable geometry. As far as I know, you typically add it in squares, basically. Not, not squares, but not like rectangles and stuff. In four faces, uh, not faces, four edges. And render in three edges. Three. When you animate and bend the mesh, you might experience wrong bending faces. Subdividing angons produces pole. Yeah, yeah, especially with animation. However, uh, I'm not saying he's doing something wrong here. He doesn't do anything wrong, but like, if animation is the problem, you won't face that problem with a table because normally you don't animate a table. It's like, the most animation you get out of a table is maybe a toppling over or people carrying it, but the table's form won't change, so... I guess this is neglectable when it comes to a table, but like, uh, we'll see. And they can make trouble with shading, so where possible, avoid them. Shade, okay. We could fix the ingons in a quick manner. So Blackbird, hello! Click here to invite Vampire Cat inside. <laughs> vampire Cat, <laughs> you fool! Walks inside, walks back outside. May I come in? <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, yeah. Good evening to you as well. I hope you're doing good. I... Oh, now that you're here. We actually made a table. That's what cats do. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like... Wait, uh, well, vampire stuff? But yeah, the cat angle. I didn't think about that. But that makes sense, actually. But yeah, here's our table. I did it a bit differently than he did, but I like the outcome. Now we want to just put the finishing touches on it. I wouldn't dare sit on that table. It would break. <laughs> it's not for sitting, though. It's for eating. It's a dinner table. First select everything. Then go to face. Triangulate faces. And again, face trees to quads. Then the angons gets divided into trees. Oh, and quads. wait, wait! I didn't quite catch and that. And face triangulate faces. And again, face trees to quads. Okay, okay, okay. So wait, which mode is he in? Edit mode. So we want us to like. All, all. Okay. So if we do it like this. Huh. Why can't I... Why doesn't it select everything? Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see. And now all... Ha! This is how this works. Uh, uh, I'm drinking some sake and sushi. Needed a break from anime. <laughs> What's your refreshments of the day? I just have water. <laughs> I ate an apple and an orange earlier. And for lunch I had pizza, so... That's basically everything. Okay, uh, uh, okay, uh, wait, where did he go? Faces. Face. Face. Triangulate. Looks weird for now, but that's fine. And then trees to quartz. Or tries to quartz, I guess. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. 
I think for our model it did not change anything. <laughs> but oh well. That's fair. This is the side look. I made it like 75 centimeters high. 